What's that? How were you feeling discouraged? How wasn't I feeling discouraged? When? Yesterday. Mm. This morning. <laughs> Just like, how so? Well, let me list the ways. <laughs> Ding dong! <laughs> Hello! Ha! <laughs> Top of the morning, friends and family. Today's vlog is going to be about uh, discouragement because I've been feeling kind of discouraged, especially in the last 24 hours. Also, going to talk about how I get re encouraged or feel encouragement again, what steps I do to do that. And, and also, we'll go back to the snake room. I got some updates on a few snakes back there, so we'll do that too. So I guess the first thing we can talk about, first thing I can address with this is that it's totally out of character for me to talk about this stuff. At least it was a playground like this, for example, when I was a kid. If there was another kid on the playground, chance of you seeing me on the playground too was zero because I am an introvert. Obviously converted as of late, but still very much have introverted tendencies. So the fact that I share as much as I do here on social media or on YouTube, on a video and publicly is, uh, it took a long time to get to this place. Long time. <laughs> so the first thing that's probably more at the surface is I've been doing this weight loss um, challenge on myself, trying to get myself more healthy, get myself to that 172 number, which the last three days I've been in a caloric deficit, like eating less calories than I'm burning. And somehow this morning I wake up pound heavier than yesterday. Now, granted, I am building muscle at the same time, so I know that's part of it, but still, <laughs> it makes it hard when I'm making myself hungry constantly and getting further away from my goal at the same time. It's very, very discouraging. But again, that's kind of more surface stuff. And then the other thing would be this giveaway I was trying to do. We're still doing it, by the way. And a bunch of people tried to sign up this time and when people go to try and sign up the website is down the entire time like the website is just nobody can sign up literally nobody i don't know how many messages i got the last couple days of people that were trying to sign up and couldn't because the website is down and it's still down hopefully not at the time i post this video but at the time of recording it's still down so it's just like dude timing <laughs> and then bullies i mean <laughs> You'd think that a grown man wouldn't be worried about getting bullied. And I'm generally not at this point. I've generally gotten to a spot where I'm good at just deflecting or just ignoring, for the most part, comments that are shitty. But I'd love to pr pretend that it doesn't bother me. I'd love to, but I can't. You know, even for all the hundred great comments that are out there, the great support that we've got, that I've, we've built here, which is absolutely phenomenal. I, I thank all of you guys that have been supportive throughout over the years. Like, it, tr great, fantastic. And I wish that crappy people didn't detract from that at all. But they do. It's like I'm trying to do something good, you know, that I think is good. That's gonna help everybody. And it never fails, and I know this. There's always somebody that just wants to tear you down no matter what. And, and tell you that you're just, you're the worst. And everything you're doing is a bunch of crap and you should probably stop and you're it's just like all of the negative comments that you get that people just trying to tell you that you're basically worthless <sighs> very discouraging because i could easily make videos about just just show the snakes and what is uh you know what's happening with the snakes and like not put any personal stuff in whatsoever and that would be super easy to do the downside of that is that i wouldn't have built the community that i have at this point meeting real friends and having lots of people out there, uh, so many I can list at this point, that have been very influential in my life and have been, my life has been much better for it. So it's that balance you play, but that downside of the balance is, it can be like that. What's that? How did it go there? One more time? What was it, what was that? 
said I was taking a break from playing Lava Monsters. And how do you feel about Mommy taking a break? Maybe Daddy could be the Lava Monster now. <laughs> That's how I feel about making videos after getting nasty comments or trying to do good things. <sighs> nasty comments. What? I said, who's giving you nasty comments? Oh, you know, just random people on the internet. And whatever. Obviously, I'm not letting it stop me. If it was going to let it stop me, I would have just done a snake video today and not talked about anything that's going on in my personal life whatsoever. But here I am. So, uh, sorry. Old habits die hard. <laughs> just, the thing, as far as encouragement, the thing that have really encouraged me recently is my new relationship with God. I went to Bible study this morning, and the folks that I've met there, the, the gentlemen that I've been talking with, you know, young and old, um, lots of encouragement there. When I go to scripture, I just, that's where it's been recently. That's where I find re encouragement and what helps me get over those feelings of self-doubt and get, helps me get past the discouragement very quickly. Um, sitting in the sauna, listening to the Bible app on my phone, and like the other day I was, Ephesians was just like, and previously in my past life, it was impossible to read the Bible. Like I tried to read it and be like, this is not working. But now where I'm at, like, I, I read it and it just gives me this full hope and full feeling of regeneration that I can't really attribute to anything else that I've, that I've had. Um, that is, seems to be that simple. Something as simple as opening a book and, and going through it and, and just taking in the passages. Amazing. What do you think about that? <laughs> Come on, follow me real quick. Come on. Oh no, that's not very nice. What do you think happened, Leah? I don't know. But you had to show me that, huh? Yeah. Well, that's encouraging. Aw, poor thing. Mm, cutie. It's dead. a very cute bird. It was. Probably it was going to go in the water on a catfish by it. A catfish? catfish and, it, and someone brought it up to soy. Well, <laughs> that's encouraging. On that note, why don't we go back and check out the snakes. You think a leopard got it? There are no leopards around here. Hey, Leia, I think we should go back and uh what do you think play our game we should go back and we should go back and get hilo hilo is probably missing us right now That's a good puppy. Oh, that's a good puppy. Oh, that's definitely encouraging. <laughs> if you have a dog, you probably know how to get encouraged real quick. Just do doggy life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but if you don't have a dog, because that's cheating. That's de This is definitely cheating. I feel great now. <laughs> if you don't have a dog, then you know, talking to somebody, talking to a person, telling somebody why you're discouraged, what's discouraging you. Talking to somebody else is almost always going to help you out just a little bit. Even this, where I'm not getting direct feedback, is helping. So when you do it with somebody actually in person, it's that much better. I guess you don't have a problem being on camera right now, do you? <laughs> I'm gonna look at the snake's teeth. Ooh, don't need none of this in here, boy. Ooh, oh my goodness. Speaking of get together with people, Carpet Fest. I think we, uh, we might host Carpet Fest this year. Uh, after I talked to everybody that 
would potentially be involved and make sure that's all good with everybody else and might plan on hosting Carpet Fest right here at the old Cusco household. So if that's something you'd be interested in, then leave a comment down below while I get this lens cleared up from going from a cold place to a warm place. Yeah, let us know, Carpet Fest. Oh, that made it worse. How is that possible? Hila, what are you doing back there, you ding dong? Really? What are you after? There's nothing back there for you, you dog. Hey, get out of there, come on, come on. Are you stuck? Back up, reverse, dude, dude. <laughs> there you go, you silly. <laughs> I'm getting dizzy. Oh, oh my gosh, a mistake. All right, Papa, I know it's exciting. All right, first exciting snake. Let's get the light over here. Bridget, cinnamon sunset, looking absolutely great and very gravid. She should be dropping. A clutch here say very beginning of February maybe like my dad's birthday and uh, she'll be the next snake to drop a clutch here at triple B so pretty excited about that always fun hashing out sunsets and this will be the first pairing we do where we actually get oh wait no I'm, I'm just kidding we had another pairing that was 100% head oh did I sell those as pos heads oh my gosh I think I might have sold some pos heads as or 100% heads as pos heads that was definitely a mistake what are you getting into back there, dog? You ding ding. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, I got a shelf over here now? Yeah, check out the new, yeah, new Freedom Breeder Rack. Uh. And speaking of, you know what? It smells fantastic in here when I got here. And I think that's because I got a fresh batch of Cocoa Blocks in here. It smelled absolutely beautiful. Cocoa Blocks. Get you some. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's Bridget. And let's take a look at uh, a couple other snakes that'll be dropping clutches here pretty soon. And that would be Bonnie, and I've talked about her before, we've showed her, but she'll probably be dropping her clutch about a week or so after Bridget. And Bonnie here is a... I know what it is, hold on. She's a yellow belly pinstripe extreme jean het clown. And paired to an Enchi GHI spot nose red stripe clown so we're looking at potentially getting entry red stripe spot nose yellow belly pinstripe extreme gene clowns and that is awesome check her out got some big fatty McFat stack oh oh or whoa what what's going on do not tell me you reabsorbed those eggs Yeah, talk about potentially discouraging. That would have been discouraging. Yeah, she's got at least like five or six nice big ones in there. It's a little different to tell after you, they've ovulated. It's much more of softer of a feeling when you palpate, but yeah. <laughs> Don't need any extra discouragement from that. No, we're good, we're good. Let's see, one more. That's Rolanda. I may or may not have missed pre-lay shed with this girl. I suppose we'll be able to tell real soon. As of right now, She's certainly got some massive follicles she's built and she was paired to the same male as Bonnie back there. And she is a cinnamon lesser, 100% het clown. So, and she red stripe, spot nose, GHI, cinnamon lesser clowns, hopefully would be <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> Any combo there within, I think would be something to be, to behold, yeah. And worst case scenario, we get a bunch of 100% head clowns. That's not too bad, that's pretty encouraging. Well, I hope today's video helped you guys if you were feeling discouraged or just was generally enjoyable in general. That's it for me today. I'm gonna go take care of a bunch of other stuff and uh, you guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and we'll see you in the next video. I don't know what's happening on Music Monday yet, but hopefully it's entertaining as the last few have been. <laughs> Aloha, I'm out of here. What do you think, dog? What do you think about Cocoa Blocks? Hilo, what do you think about Cocoa Blocks? What do you think about this? What do you think about that? Is that nice? Is it good? Is it sweet? Is it fresh? Oh, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, it's the best. Good enough to eat. Oh, all right. <laughs>